I'm Joy. I'm Amanda. <laughs> I think in both like the gay and straight communities were looked at in a negative light, for example. People think that I give in to um, what men think are beautiful. When men, people think I give in to what men think is beautiful. And um, I think a lot of lesbians are annoyed by that. And um, like I think a lot of people are confused by her masculine appearance. But I think it's totally hot, so. There are people that are, they're amazed that I'm with a tall, blonde girl with big boobs. I mean, it's like very stereotypical. You know, I think that I should be with a girl with dark hair and like, I don't know, glasses and dresses in all black. And I've gotten crap for that. Um, so maybe people think it's less authentic, but it's for real. People think I should be with somebody who looks like me. Yeah. Which would be weird. Hey, ooh, let's get two head cases together. I know that there's people that don't understand why she would want to be with a girl that looks like a guy. Like if you're a lesbian, why don't you just be with a girl that looks like a girl? I can't think of anybody specifically. I think it happens to me a lot. It happens, a, a lot of guys ask me that, you know, because... Like if you want to be with a guy, why don't you just be with a guy? Always. People say that to me all the time. And nothing like a guy. At all. <laughs> nothing. First of all, she doesn't have guy parts. So, there's number one. Okay. Big one. That's a big one. That's actually huge for me because um, the girl parts are what makes it so fun. I'm very sensitive too. She is very sensitive, like very a little sensitive. delicate flower. Not a dude. Not a dude. Not a dude. Not a dude. Like, I think people are crazy when they don't get it. Like, I'm like, oh, what's wrong with you? What? Are you kidding me? You know, like, I think we're like a really hot couple. Like, I don't understand why people don't get it. But a lot of people do, like, you know, like the people who get it, you know. They, there's, I guess we're talking more middle America people don't understand. You know what I mean? Like, um, I would hate to be walking through um, Kansas holding hands. That would be terrifying. They probably you just know. think I was like a 13 year old boy. I'm unapologetically madly in love with her. And regardless of what comes in from the outside, like deflect, deflect. Yeah. This is where I am. Yeah, I'm trying to put a little force field around us from all the crap that comes in from the outside. I'm really big on like energy and like if people are like sending their negative shit out, like obviously they need something to work on. They have to work on themselves, you know, like, like if you're focusing on anybody else in a negative way, like you're just trying to like take away from yourself and I probably like explain to them that they should probably just work on what yeah. they have going on. You'd have some good shit. You'd come up it would come out way better than that. I'd probably just stare at them. And like mad. Like, Start like Stop human dude. Like, if somebody was um, challenging our relationship and and what we're doing and who we are, I would probably just tell them that um, this works for us, and you may not understand it, you may never understand it, but um, we're happy and we're not hurting anybody. Have you ever been in love? Because it feels exactly the same for us as it does for you.